What's up, YouTube? I'm Derek T. And as you can see in the background, we're gold winging. Only we're doing it from my office instead of from the road because it is thunderstorming here in Pittsburgh and it's just not a good day to be out on the road. A lot of people, I see a lot of people do, uh, they shoot these kinds of videos when they're not on the bike, they shoot them from their garage and nothing wrong with that at all. Um, if you're, if you have a garage that's presentable, my garage is more like a dungeon. It's just enough to keep my bike from being out in the rain. So, and since I have happened to have a whole video production uh, station right here in the house, in my office, in my workspace, I figured I would shoot the video from right here instead of from the dungeon in the garage. So, hey, today's topic uh, is the helmet setup. I had a couple of people ask me about my, my helmet setup and my camera gear that I use and everything else. I'm just gonna kind of take a small walk through what I do. It's crazy because I was thinking about this uh, yesterday before I decided to shoot the video. And I said, you know, I probably wear somewhere in the ballpark of about 900 to $1,000 worth of gear on my head when I'm out on the road um, shooting these videos. And so let's, uh, let's just walk through. Um, so here is my weapon of choice. This is my helmet by Bell. Don't ask me what the model number is. I don't know. Um, I just know that it's extremely comfortable. And I finally got it right in terms of not buying a helmet on Amazon. Uh, yeah, we talk about that in the National Biker Roundup video that I did uh, when we were on our way to Perry, Georgia. I, I did a swap out and bought a new helmet. Stop going on Amazon to buy helmets I have like four or five of them. They were very inexpensive and very convenient at the time when I first started riding about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, or when I first got back into riding, I should say. And so, you know, just trying to save money. It was during a pandemic and everything else was trying to save money. And I said, you know, let me just buy a cheap DOT helmet. I finally got off of those cheaper helmets and just went and bought what was comfortable for me. So um, this is the GoPro case in here. And what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put a link to all of these products in the description. The only thing that won't be there will be the helmet because like I said, I don't know exactly what model number it is, but I did buy it at Cycle Gear. So maybe I'll uh, drop a link to Cycle Gear's website so that you can check that out if you have a Cycle Gear in your area. All right, but this is the, the GoPro uh, casing that I use. It doesn't have a camera in it right now, um, but I bought this on Amazon and it is designed to put your GoPro Hero 7 in there. Um, I'm not sure if this will fit the other GoPro models or not. I have two GoPro Hero 7s and then I also have the GoPro Max 360. And so th those are the cameras in my arsenal. I use one of them in a handheld device. I'll show you that as well. But this uh, casing, you put your camera inside of it. It uh, just has a small little clip on the back. You take that off here. Here's my Hero 7. Here's my GoPro Hero 7 here. And I'm simply sliding that into place and then securing it uh, with this handy dandy little piece there. And um, I'm set up and ready to record. The mounting itself, it's an adhesive mount. And again, I'll put, I don't have the name and model number like what the company made. This is not an official GoPro accessory, but you know, there's plenty of aftermarket uh, companies that make these products. And I put that there. Um, so it really, really works out well. I don't have anything before I had um, something on the side of the helmet. It was kind of protruding out. I don't really like that. I like it for it to be as close to the helmet as possible. And then I can also see um, if I need to glance down very quickly at the screen and make sure it's recording, I can do that. The next up is the adapter. Um, this adapter, slide it out. I'm gonna slide it out partially. Well, I'm gonna slide the whole thing out. This is 
inefficial GoPro adapter. And what it does is this end here, which is USB-C, goes into the side of the GoPro Hero 7. And then that's what allows me to have a quarter inch jack on that side for my microphone or another USB type of device uh, to, to go into the camera. So again, that loads in here like so. And I'm, I'm pointing this out because I saw I saw a video of a person who um, who I actually like their videos. I really do. Um, and it looked like the person I, I'm, I'm going to refrain from saying that person's name because I don't want to appear like I'm critiquing any any particular vlog or any person's work. But they had their they had their adapter and it was just kind of hanging down. They didn't have this GoPro um, casing that will hold this in place. And so uh, I hope that, as a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link to this video in the comment section of that person's video and hopefully they uh, are able to correct that. I wouldn't want that adapter just kind of hanging down while I was riding. Um, it seems like it would get uncomfortable, particularly at highway speed. Um, so we so we plug that side into the camera there. Um, the microphone, this is the microphone adapter. Uh, the microphone is plugged into the quarter inch on that side over there. That's not a quarter inch, that's an eighth inch. I apologize, it's a one eighth jack and not a quarter inch. Um, I'm a keyboardist too, and so quarter inch jack, I'm no, I'm no stranger to instrument cables and quarter inch jacks. So I apologize for misspeaking there, but this is an eighth inch uh, jack there. All right, so that's the camera on the outside. Uh, on the inside, uh, this might be difficult. Okay, so what you're looking at here is my microphone. And it's nice and tucked gently away. It doesn't touch my face, the side of my face at all. Um, it stays nice and tucked away, but it's also away from any wind noise and anything else too. So it's nice and hidden and it gives me a good audio there. And like I said, the uh, wire to that is already going into the side of the, the GoPro adapter there. So that's where I keep the microphone. Uh, all right, and then if I turn, so that's that's my camera setup in the helmet. And that's how I bring audio and video from the camera um, in the helmet. On the side, this is the Senna 20S Evo, or the Evo 20S, I don't know which words you say first. Or whatever, like I said, brand names kind of escape me sometimes. But nonetheless, uh, it's mounted to the side of the, the helmet as well. Uh, if I need to charge it, which I probably do, um, it just pops right off. There's a button right here that you just push in. This pops off and I can plug that into a USB charger so I don't have to bring the whole helmet inside if I need to charge it or whatever, it just slides. When I'm ready to put it back on, it just clicks right back into place. All right, nice and secure. The uh, headphones, it took a little bit <laughs> to, to mount them correctly so that they were um, strategically placed directly over my ears. And I really apologize for the video quality. I try to do the best that I can. Um, the black of the helmet is just kind of contrasting against uh, the background behind me. But that's the Santa 20S. It's uh, Bluetooth. Uh, communications. Uh, I can play my music through my phone through here, uh, which I sometimes do. And then you can also talk, you know, uh, talk to other people, pair up and everything else. And so uh, one person uh, was kind enough to, to drop a, a comment and tell me about the Senna. In my phone right here. It is the Senna Ride Connected app. And um, I tried I, I tried that for the first time a couple of days ago, and you'll see videos coming out about that. But the Ride Connected app really, really helped solve the connectivity issue. If you all saw some of my uh, videos on the National Biker Roundup, you knew that we were having some connectivity issues with the Santa Bluetooth. Uh, but that seems to have solved the problem is using the, the Ride Connected app. So hey, that's a real just a real quick hit on my 
helmet, I call it the tech helmet. It's got a lot going on, but for all of the money that it's spent on the helmet, the camera, all of the devices that are connected to the camera and the Senna, um, like I said, this is like putting pretty close to a thousand bucks on my head every time I go out to shoot video. So, um, you know, but anything, the one thing that I will say is that when you're passionate about something and when you really love doing what you do, it's worth investing your time and your resources into it. Um, invest responsibly. Don't spend your rent money or your mortgage payment on your motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> um, do so responsibly. But this is the helmet setup that I use. I hope it helps somebody. And hey, I'll see you all on the next video. I'm Derek T.